What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about flat roofs in Revit and how to create flat roofs and how to set them up so they work for all of the drainage purposes and all of that. And if you're interested in more roof tutorials, I've already done a bunch of tutorials on roofs of all shapes and sizes, a bunch of different interesting roofs. So check out the playlist I left as a link in the description of this video. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit and first I'm going to show you how to create a flat roof. Then I'm going to show you how to create variable layers, so variable thickness layers, so you can solve all of your drainage problems. And then I'm going to be showing you how to adapt your roof surface through the, to the construction of your building. So let's get started. First, let's do the first thing and that's how to create a flat roof. So let's go to level 2 and here I've got an empty space over here, so let's create our flat roof over here. So a lot of people are tempted to create uh, roofs as floors, but that's wrong. You're classifying it as a floor and that's not something you want to be doing. So you want to go here to roof and just do roof by footprint. And then let's create a simple rectangle over here. And as you can see now, all of these lines have this little angle sign over here that uh, allows you to s put in input a uh, kind of an angle of the roof. But if you don't want an angled roof, you want a flat roof as we're doing in this tutorial, we can just select all of these and uncheck the fine slope. So all of these are flat planes. So if I just hit finish and go into 3D, and if I move around over here, as you can see here, I've just got a flat roof. And here in the properties panel, you can choose which roof you want to use. Let's leave it at this for now. And now we've got some tools for modifying our roof. So when you select your flat roof, you've got all of these modify roofs uh, panel over here or a tab. And then you can edit the, the footprint, you can change it. Then you can modify sub elements. And what this means, you can actually, if I select it, uh, the roof changes. Now we've got this green line with four dots in the angles. So now we can actually select these planes and either move whole planes and here we can reset the shape or we can actually move just the points. So if I go here to modify sub elements and let's say I want to create a roof in the shape of the hi hyperbolic paraboloid, which is an interesting shape, I can just select this point over here, kind of move it up, select this point, move it up, and if I orbit around, you can see this is now, if I just finish, this is now a hyperbolic paraboloid shaped roof. So you can play around with roof shapes, even though it's a flat roof in the beginning, you can kind of change it and modify it a bit to, to make it look more interesting. Okay, so let's uh, let's move over here. And here we've got some four walls. Let's say this is a building. And let's say we want to create just a classical, simple flat roof. But we want to s solve all of the drainage problems for that roof. Uh, in, re in reality, you never have a truly flat roof. It always has to angle just a little bit towards a drainage hole. So you can get all of the water from the roof away from your house. So let's see how to do that. Let's go to level two. And this is our hyperbolic paraboloid roof, so let's move that out of the way. And if I go over here, we've just got four walls, we're at level two. And let's just create a roof by a rectangle. Let's just do it like this. Oh, sorry, this is a floor. See, I made a mistake. Okay, so let's go to roof, roof by footprint, just a simple rectangle. And you just hit modify. And here, just uncheck all of the defined slope, and you just hit finish. Now here for the properties, let's change this into something more interesting like this steel bar joist or maybe just a warm roof, a concrete warm roof. And now here, as you can see, I've got already a section over here. So if I cut through this roof, you can see it's got a bunch of layers. And let's say we want to have kind of an angled roof. So we want to have an angle over here so the water can uh, kind of flow to one spot where we can place a drainage uh, vertical pipe, but uh, we don't want our roof to be uh, kind of angled on the bottom of the house, as you were probably going to have some floor over here. So how do you do that? You actually go into edit type for this, uh, for this roof, and here you just go into structure and you edit the structure, and let's say that this uh, concrete uh, part of the roof is variable. So let's say it's variable thickness. And what this means is when I hit OK and apply and OK. And if I go here and let's go into into 3D perhaps. 
yeah so let's select this roof and we can add a point so here on the modify roof so we can add a point and let's place a point in the middle then let's go into modify and let's select this roof again modify sub elements select this point and let's do minus 10 centimeters kind of like this and let's turn this to hidden line perhaps okay so this says now minus 10 centimeters and let's go into our section so let's see what we have here and as you can see the bottom part is flat and uh, the the top part is actually curving inward to this point and the layer that's doing that that's variable height is this layer over here the bottom structure layer so by making that layer variable we actually allowed it to uh, to leave the the bottom portion of this roof flat but the the top portion is angled properly so we can get proper drainage and if you don't want to have kind of pointed drainage you want to have kind of a, a whole line where you would put kind of a gutter or something like that we can go back into 3d let's select this roof and re let's reset shape and it's always great to have this reset reset shape button so you can always go back so anyway let's do a split line now so let's create a split line like this going through the half of the roof then we can edit go modify sub elements select that uh, split line and just do it minus 10 centimeters and then on this split line we can place a gutter so all the water is rushing towards that gutter and if I go into the section we get the same effect the water is flowing towards that split line that we cannot change the height of to minus 10 centimeters okay so that's amazing for creating some uh, well working uh, flat roofs and let's reset the shape of this back to normal and let's go back into 3d and as you can see here I've got some sort of a construction going on and it's just a simple construction kind of a V construction on a couple of, a couple of columns it's a steel construction and let's say we want to create uh, turn this into some sort of a uh, some sort of a roof so people can get under it when it's raining or something so let's go into level 2 so scroll up a bit level 2 and here we've got our construction and let's create a roof so let's go roof by footprint and start from here and here just finish select all of these define slope uncheck them go finish and if we go into 3d this is what we get as you can see we have our roof but it's not really complying to, to the shape of the construction we have underneath now we can start uh, using some roof tools to kind of try to model a roof that's fo following this construction or we can just adapt this roof to the construction now you can either use the split line and then try to kind of bring it down to this this part but there's even a faster way that Revit allows us to do and that's to use pick supports so we can just pick these supports over here and then these supports over here let's see if for some reason we can select them let's see if we can finish okay sometimes when you're making this uh, making the boundary you need to set it up properly so when, let's go into edit footprint go into level 2 and as you can see here I just need to bring the boundary kind of towards the middle of this column and here towards the middle of this column like that and just go finish and let's go into 3d yeah so it resets shape let's try again so again pick supports okay it works now pick the other side okay now it works so as you saw you always need to kind of align the 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 boundary line of the roof to the to the center of this column over here and now we've got our roof that's actually kind of adapted to our construction that's holding that roof in place okay so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please ma make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day